Hi, Katie here from Katie's World. Thank you for tuning into my channel today. In this video, I'm going to be doing the Charlie Brown Christmas 2020 page kit from start to finish. So if you'd like to see that, please stay tuned. If you would, if you don't have this kit already and would like to pick one up, please click on the link below. It'll take you to my shop where you'll find this kit as well as many other fun projects that I have to offer. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we need to trim down the background paper. So um, you have a 12 by 12 sheet of black card stock. Um, this one does not have a barcode. If you do receive one of my kits that have a, a barcode strip on the end, just go ahead and trim that down to, to 12 inches. So it's 12 by 12. So with the decorative piece, there is a barcode here. And so we're gonna need to trim this to a quarter of an inch smaller than the black card stock. So we're gonna just turn, and I'm, oh, by the way, I'm using the Fiskars Pro trimmer precision trimmer this is my favorite paper trimmer to use okay so we're going to make sure that the barcode is on the right i'm going to make it flush with you could use the top or the bottom it has got um guards on both ends but i'm using the top so i'm going to put it at 11 and three quarters and i'm pressing it against the top to make sure it stays straight i'm just going to press my finger here to make sure to hold that guide down and you can slide it up or down so there we go, just really nice cut. So I'm gonna rotate one turn, 11 and three quarters. Once again, I, as I'm pressing down, I'm also pushing that way just to make sure it stays in place and straight, okay? Now I've already done the first one. So um, you will have to trim two of those, but I've already done the first one for the sake of time. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, glue this down. So I am using the Art Glitter Designer Dries Clear Liquid Adhesive. I also do carry this in my shop, however, not during the cold season. So um, as I'm filming this, it has been taken off of my shop because I cannot ship it um, in cold weather. It will destroy the glue. So it will be back when it's warm again. Okay, so I am going to just place it here. I'm looking at all four corners. I wanna make sure it has a nice even border. This too does dry quickly, so I can't waste too much time on it. You can also use a dry adhesive, um, permanent tape runner or score tape will work. I, I prefer the liquid glue because it, when it dries, it, you know, it dries hard and sturdy as opposed to, um, like a, a dry adhesive so it's just it's really nice but either one works so like I said I have both done already so here's our our background pages now the next step you need to do is take out your borders these are already cut for you and to know which one they look very similar so if you look at both of them you want the hump to be on the right and then you also have one that's slightly larger if you can see um, one of these is slightly taller. The tallest one's going to go on the left page. And it's it's exactly 11 and 3 quarters cut. So you're just going to go ahead and glue that down. Normally when I glue these borders down, I only do the sides and the bottom so I can tuck things, tuck photos under. But in this case, I am not going to, actually I might on the right page. We'll see. I'm going to do it. So it's always good just to do it just so that you have that flexibility when you're putting your page together. Go ahead and just do the sides and the bottom. That way you have the option if you would like to tuck a photo in. You can even use it as a pocket if you have something double-sided, a little journaling or a tag, um, a double-sided photo. Um, if you have extra photos you want to add and there just wasn't enough in this on this page, that's a perfect spot for a pocket. And you can tuck, tuck pictures inside just like that. Okay, so see that gives you a nice border. I apologize if I go off camera. 
it's the camera just doesn't go high enough or the stand that I have doesn't go high enough to fill when I do a whole layout. So, okay, so now we have the borders on. Make sure I showed you that. So next we're gonna do, um, we're gonna add the photo mats. Okay, so I've already added the white cardstock. Now these just represent my photo. I like the look of it until I'm ready to place my photo. Um, so no, you don't have white in the kit because that's just represent your photo. What I did was I just took my glue. I just made a little X on the back of the white and then stuck it down so that when I am ready to add my photo, I'm going to go ahead and peel that off, throw it away and add the photo. Okay. And then this also reminds me, um, the photo sizes on some of them. I don't have it on all of them, but so the five by seven is going to go up here. I'm just going to kind of lay them out quickly so I can see what I'm working with here. So we have a five by seven, a three by four. This one is a four by four and a half, and that's the photo size. The, the actual mat is gonna be a quarter of an inch larger. So when you are placing your photos on, just go ahead and measure your photo mat and then trim your photo to a quarter of an inch smaller. And then it'll be perfect. So this one I am thinking maybe I will tuck under. I think I like that idea. Okay, this is gonna be, this one I'm gonna have about a quarter of an inch from the top and side. Same thing with this one, and then same thing with this one. So I'm just laying everything out to get a feel for the layout. And these I've already pieced together. Um, you can find the paper piecing how-to videos uh, for the title. Actually, for all three. So for this one, this subtitle, and then Linus piece. So those are on my site as well. So if you have any trouble when, when you're paper piecing, go ahead and watch those videos. That'll help out a lot. So it's just going to go like that. And I've already put the foam squares on the back. I do sell these in my shop as well. The foam squares are there as well. And I'll try to remember to link those below for you. It's going to go like that and one like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue the photo mats down. Now this I don't want too far down. This head will cover it. So, okay. And this looks pretty good here. Okay, again, I'm just going to go ahead and use the liquid glue. I do not recommend using liquid glue on thin paper. I have heavy cardstock here, so it's okay. Um, but on thin paper and on photographs, I have used it on photographs, um, but you can kind of see the bumps where the glue was placed because it does dry quickly. And I don't like that. So I don't recommend it on photographs or unless you're working like really fast and you get it down before it starts to dry. But even then, I don't know. So I like to use um, dry adhesive when I'm working with the photos. Okay, now this one. So I'm just eyeballing it, but it's about a quarter of an inch. It might even be three eighths of an inch. I'm not sure, but I'm just eyeballing it um, to see how much of the decorative paper I want showing in between the edges. Okay, so I've got my two four by sixes, my five by seven. Let me go ahead, I'm gonna stick this down. This one is for a photo that's four by four and a half. So you just take a four by six photograph and just trim it down to four and a half. Um, let me see. I don't want to go down too far. 
there we go. I just went down far enough until the, the bottom of the white, uh, the photo, the bottom was covered. So it's fully tucked in there. Okay, so then, although I wonder if it should be up higher because I am going to cover it with a title. Mm, but I already stuck it down. I think it'll be okay. Yeah, I, it'll be fine. Okay. And then we have our three by threes. Okay, so I'm gonna have this one go down first. If you are enjoying this video, please go ahead and click that, that like button. I really appreciate it. It helps out my channel a lot. Okay. Okay, so you can see this one is going to be covering two photographs. So what I like to do is I'll take this uh, sticker backing from my foam squares. I'm just going to slide it under placing it where the edge of the two photo mats are. And now the trick is to pick this up go like that. And now I know I can only place glue here. Now, of course, if you had a photo on here already, this wouldn't matter, but I wanna be able to tuck my photographs in later. Right. And then just to be sure, because I don't want it to glue there if I did get any glue. I'm gonna go ahead. And this is, I like, you want to use a shiny side. So if there is glue, you can still move it. So I'm going to do is tuck it in, press it down, slide it out. Looks like it's good to go. And if there was glue, it would catch onto here. And I would just do that until it kind of dried. But it looks like I did okay. So that's a little tip there. Okay, so then we still have one photo mat over here. Let me look at where he's gonna go. So I kind of like, just to add a little variation, I like to add it just down a little bit so it's not all just perfectly in line. But I wanna make sure the photo is not covered too much. I think that'll be fine, move it up a little bit more. Okay, so maybe about three quarters of an inch from there. And then I'm just centering left and right. There's the right page with the photo mats, the left page with the photo mats. Okay, now I'm gonna add my title. I'm gonna go ahead and close up my glue because I don't want it to dry or clog up. I always wipe the tip, wipe the pin. I always wipe the pin when I pull it out, but um, you don't want any glue to dry in there. And you can even go like this just to make sure no glue is drying in there. Because it is a fine tip and it will clog up on you real quick if you don't um, get that glue off of there. And if that happens, just um, go ahead and take off that tip and run it under some warm water, put it in some warm water and try to get it to melt away, but try to avoid having to do all that. Okay, so let's see here. So what you want to do, so I'm going to keep this about close to the edge, but maybe a quarter of an inch away from the edge on the top and the side. And then um, this looks good. So you wanna look at your photo, where your photos are gonna be and make sure it's gonna be okay. So this only covers slightly a little bit of the top, so that should be fine. Just a little bit top, that's fine. And then a little bit corner of the bottom here. So just remember before you place your photos in, just make sure you choose photographs that um, are not gonna get covered up funky when you set it down. So 
there we go again I want to make sure that I'm not putting adhesive where photos are gonna go and again that's only because I don't have my photos on there yet you can always wait till you have your photos on if you'd like that's easier okay the trick is now to turn this over with three of these on here yeah I don't know and it was pretty much like that so okay well, that's kind of tough. So let me see. I know it's that one I don't want to remove. And then this one, like that, and this one down here. Okay, this was pretty much fine. I might do those two and then I think just these three yeah so okay I'm gonna go ahead and take these off quickly and we'll stick it down put that here just to remind me I don't want to do that bottom row Okay, so I think that'll do it for these. So remember, I have this just about kind of even with that, and then these leaves are about a quarter of an inch away from the edges. That looks good. Okay, press it down. I just want to test it out here. Uh oh. Wait. Is it sticking? Mm. I did. I did remove the tape. Oh yeah, or did I? I think one of these I removed the tape backing and I shouldn't have. So let me see if I can slide. I don't want to mess this up. I'm going to try to slide one of these back on there. Maybe. Should be able to slide a photograph down there now. Looks like I took too much off. I mean, I didn't, yeah, I took too many of the backings off. Oops. So. Although, it is stuck to this, so when I pull this off, I might be okay, because it'll take the sticky with it. I'm just going to leave it. Okay. So, let's, so this side is done. Left side is done. And the right, I'm going to go ahead and add him in here. Oh, I must do it again. Okay. I think what I'm going to do to make this easier, I probably should have done with a big one, 
is I'm just going to go across the whole top. So I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up with the bottom of this and the right side of this instead of making it all complicated. So I should have done with the other one. And then now I know just don't do anything up there. That's what I, yeah, that's what I should have done. Well, now we learned. Okay, so I'm just, I'm going to do this to be safe. Take these off. What you could also do is just leave the sticker backing there. Like, instead of trying to figure out where to do it, you can take all the stickies off. As long as you leave this face up over the photo mat, then you, it'll come off when you're ready. It'll just be sitting there as a placeholder. So that's an option too. All right. I'm going to do this just to be safe. Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm looking at his shirt because he actually has some of the, if, the, if you have textured paper, that kind of helps to line it up. This hat, he has some texture in his shirt. So I'm trying to keep that straight. And then I have him about a quarter of an inch. He's a little less than a quarter right there, maybe a quarter inch there. Okay, so let's see, did I do it? I think I did it okay. Yeah, all right, good, 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 good. All right, done. What do you think? Leave your comments below. I'd love to hear from you. If you haven't already, um, please subscribe to my channel and click that bell for notifications so you don't miss out um, on any of my um, how-to videos. And please, once again, if you haven't already, check out my shop. Um, I do all kinds of fun things. So, And if you ever want have a request, please send it in. Thank you so much again for watching and have a great day.